Hello, all you beautiful people out there. Hello and welcome to the Thursday edition of the game, which is going to start in just a couple of minutes. I want to give some shout outs. Meow Kitties in Cleveland, Ohio is wishing everyone good luck as his TLGA mom and many others. Hello to Swag Mama 64 in England. Good morning to you. It is the morning there. Agent Zephyr letting us know that Wisconsin is in the his house, which is their words, not mine. I'm not a his house person. But if you are great and Wisconsin is there, they are, they are represented well by Agent Zephyr. A very happy birthday to J.D. Denver, who's here almost every single game. Always happy to see them. And a very happy birthday. You can go... You wish JD Denver a happy birthday in the chat if you like. Hello, hello, hello. Also, Matt Poo, one, two, three, four, that's P O O H as in Winnie the, is rooting for the Oilers to take on the Stanley Cup, but they got an uphill climb. Tonight, they're going to be trying to force a game seven against the Los Angeles Kings. Good luck to all the fans of the Kings. Good luck to all the fans of the Oilers. Oh, I just want good hockey. Basketball playoffs happening too. There is a potential to have three game sevens on Sunday and we're going to find out soon enough whether that is going to happen so if your team is still in the playoffs good luck to you also you U.S. players I hope you headed over to Swag It today and checked out the official Swag Bucks account there there were two hints to two questions in today's game so if you watch that you're going to have an edge in this game just by following Swag Bucks over on Swag It if you're in the U.S. and you don't have it downloaded and installed, maybe this is your wake-up call. Now that you know that you could get an edge in the Thursday edition of Swag Bucks Live, that's the tough one. Come on. For now, take a deep breath. Get yourself centered. And, you know, it was National Limerick Day, and the players were ready to play. They were here in a flash to win some of our cash, so let us no longer delay. The Thursday edition of Swag Bucks Live, that is the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. It's time for you to take a shot at today's grand prize. Take a look. There it is. That is $1,000, and everyone can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice general trivia questions. We'll split it. In this game, you'll also earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. Now, if you get eliminated from grand prize contention, you can keep earning bonus SB throughout the game, and I hope you do, but you will need to claim those bonus SB at the end of the game in order to keep them, and that is as simple as clicking a button that appears at the end of the game. How many times can I say the end of the game? I'll say it one more time. The end of the game. Now, if you win, you do not have to do any claiming. Your bonus is claimed for you automatically and rolled into your share of that $1,000 grand prize. For any of you who may be new to the game, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it is before question number 10, you have the opportunity to rejoin. Give yourself another shot at that grand prize. You can do that with SB. It's generally one SB to rejoin. Or you can use a free rejoin if you have one. If you don't, there might be an opportunity for you to earn some sometime very soon. But for now, the comments are going out of here. Goodbye, comments. Get out. All right? We're going to get things going right now with question number one. Here it is. A snickerdoodle is a type of... Cookie, soda, or stew? What is snickerdoodle? Is it a cookie, a soda, or a stew? I'm going to guess you know this one. Made with cinnamon and sugar, the name may be German, but the treat was born right here in the United States, in New England, to be precise. It is the cookie that is almost impossible to resist. Yes, snickerdoodle, a delicious cookie. If you haven't had one, get on the snickerdoodle train, but 99% of you getting that one right, so I'm guessing most of you have had that one before out of the people eliminated most of you coming back in we've over twenty-eight thousand people in grand prize contention just under thirty thousand concurrent users players members winners as i like to say in the game right now and guess what from now on every question you get right earns you one bonus sb let's get that started right now with question number two here it is which of these countries has the largest population? Is it the United States, Russia, or China? Which of these countries has the largest population, the most people living there? Famously. There are over 300 million people here in the United States. Enough for third place among all countries, and it's still around one-fifth the number of people in China. That is the largest population of people on the planet. That is right. 
about one and a half, one and a half billion people living there. 96% of you getting that one right. Well done. The other 4% of you split between our other two answers, which while they have plenty of people there, don't even hold a candle to what is going on in China. A lot of people there. And of the 4% of you who were eliminated, pretty much everybody coming back in, plus some of our stragglers. Still over 28,000 people in grand prize contention. And remember, everybody, keep earning bonus SP even if you get eliminated and claim them at the end of the game. All right, let's move on to question number three right now. It's worth one bonus SP if you get it right. Here it is. Which U.S. president once declared, I am not a crook, during a press conference? Is it Richard Nixon, Ronald Reagan, or John F. Kennedy? I threw in the impression to help. I hope it did. The weirdest part of it all that we don't talk about enough is that this happened at Walt Disney World. That is the place where Richard Nixon declared his innocence, but I don't think he was telling the truth just between you and me. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. 10% of you unfortunately eliminated on that one, which means you can keep playing for bonus SB, or you can rejoin and give yourself another shot at that big grand prize. For now, we are going to move on to question number four. It is worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here it is. What singer was once advised by a vocal coach to stop taking lessons? Is it Elvis Presley, Whitney Houston, or Johnny Cash? This singer was advised by a vocal coach to stop taking lessons. There was a hint about this on Swagget. See how many of you checked it out. His singing style was so unique that his vocal coach was concerned that she would just mess him up. <coughs> and so you know that Johnny Cash's sound come right for him. That's right. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. Well done. 22% of you getting that one right. That was indeed a hint in Swagget where we uh, talked about somebody walking the line. We made a reference to a Johnny Cash song over on Swagget. 68% of you going with Whitney Houston, which would assume she goes in. She's so good, they tell her, you don't need lessons. You're already set to go. That makes sense. And Elvis, another unique voice, getting 10% of people answering that one. But... The answer, of course, is Johnny Cash. 78% of you eliminated on that one, but immediately three-quarters of you coming right back in. This is the Thursday game. It's the tough one. You know, we, we hope that some of those hints were helpful to some of you. Maybe a few of you got it right, got it because of that. Maybe some of you just love Johnny Cash and know that story about him, but that is an interesting piece of music lore, is it not? Okay, here's the deal. We still have 22,000 people in grand prize contention. We're going to keep going to question number five. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. In 2003, what ailment was added to operation? Was it Gamer's Wrist, Brain Freeze, or Rubberneck? One of these was added to the board game operation. You're the doctor. It's so much fun to play. Which one was added? For years, Cavity Sam has suffered from the same chronic conditions. But for the last 19 years... He's been dealing with a new problem, probably because he had his ice cream a little too fast. He got brain freeze, of course. Brain freeze is the answer. 74% of you getting that one right. Well done. Another of our difficult questions. You crushed this one. I always love to see you get the difficult ones right. I put them in there because I believe in you. That's what I'm saying. I believe in you and your ability to get them right. Well done. I think we can move on now. We're already halfway done this game. Over 18,000 people still in it. To win the grand prize, the rest of you have the opportunity to keep earning bonus SP and claim them at the end. Here is question number six, worth one bonus SP if you get it right. When you ask someone to pull themselves together, what do you want them to do? Go faster, speak louder, or calm down? Pull yourself together. What are you asking them to do? We don't know where this came from, but we do know it's tied to another phrase, which is mind over matter is maybe how you get to the point where you can finally calm down. Yes, that's right. Pull yourself together. Calm down. Just take a breath and survey the, the world around you and realize that it's not always going to be this bad. And maybe it's not as bad as you think it is. That's the hope for whatever you're going through on my end. 17,000 of you getting that one right. That's 97% of you. Well done. You've pulled yourself together after a couple difficult questions, and we are on to question number seven right now. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Before playing for UNC, what school did Michael Jordan dream of playing for? Is it Duke, UCLA, or Kentucky? <coughs> Mentioned this in an interview. Everybody was surprised. Let's find out why. Jordan wound up being a legend in the history of a prestigious college, college basketball program, but he dreamed of playing for another, the one that gave us Mr. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar himself, 
the UCLA Bruins. UCLA is the answer. 75% of you getting that one right. Well done. Another of our difficult questions vanquished by the players of this game. So smart and so kind. That's, that's what I think about you. I'm just going to be honest. Lay it all out here on the table. Well done. And we did have a few people come in, come back in rather, who got eliminated on that one. Good news, there's only three questions remaining in this game. So whether you're collecting bonus SB or playing for the grand prize, you're not far from your chance to add some more SB to your account. So let's move on to question number eight right now. It's worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. What style of hat was designed to avoid being dislodged by tree branches? Is it the top hat, the bowler, or the fedora? It was designed so it wouldn't come off of your head and got hit by tree branches, which I guess is happening a lot. Since the design makes it look like someone took a helmet and added a brim to it, maybe that was the whole idea behind the bowler hat to make it more secure. The bowler is the answer. 79% of you getting that one right. Well done. Sits securely in your head. You can get bonked a bunch by tree branches, which I just imagine a bunch of people riding through the woods and it sounded like the Three Stooges. Just bonk, bonk. But about a quarter of the people eliminated have come back in. We still have over 10,000 people in grand prize contention and a very difficult game. And only two questions remain in this game. Let's go to question number nine right now. It is worth one bonus SB if you get it right. Here it is. Complete the title of this James Brown song. Papa's got a brand new Dodge Dart, loaf of bread, or bag. Papa got a brand new what? What does he have? This is one of the signature songs from James Brown, and it tells the story of an old man who's brave enough to get out on the dance floor and ain't no brag. Papa's got a brand new bag. Boom! 10,434 people have made it this far and are ready for our final question. And before we get to that final question, immerse yourself in an opportunity to be on a desert island together with the heroes of the Family Island game for iOS and Android. And try yourself in different roles. Farmer, cook, explorer, trader, and many others. That's T-R-A-D-E-R. -E Complete level 24 within seven days to earn 3,000 SB. That's $30 in PayPal cash or free gift cards. You have to be a U.S. player to take advantage of this opportunity. Check it out after the game. It's clear you love SB and earning them from playing games. Here's an opportunity to do that after you play this game. Check it out at the end of the game. For now, we have 10,469 people vying for a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 28,000 of you have stayed with us till the very end. And question number 10 is worth one more bonus SB if you can get it right. Here is question number 10. Which of the following TV shows was primarily set in the 1960s? Is it Taxi, Mad Men, or Saved by the Bell? Primarily set in the 1960s. Which of these shows does it sound like? The show both romanticizes and reveals the dark underbelly of the 1960s, and particularly the advertising industry in New York. Of course, we're talking about Mad Men, Mad Men, Mad Men, Mad Men. 9,695 of you knew that answer, and you are splitting our grand prize. Well done. Difficult Thursday game, but a lot of winners like to see that in each one of our grand prize winners is taking home 11 SB in grand prize money, plus the bonus SB you earned along the way. Limdak, you are a winner. Yes, Jay Cribbo, you are a winner as is Stout Swallow Ubo. Don't know what that means, but I root you all on. Congratulations to every single one of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to those of you who earned bonus SB and were smart enough to stick around and claim them because you have more SB in your account now than when the game started, and that's a win in my book. And now that you have all these new SB in your account, you know what to do with them when the time is right for you. Redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job all week long. Come back early tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. Thank you for playing Swagbucks Live, and we will see you then, my friends.